I'm Mally Schansfeld, Managing Editor at Medmark, publisher of Implant Practice US. And today I will be speaking with oral and maxillofacial surgeon Dr. Stephen Guttenberg, who will be lecturing on cone beam computed tomography at the 8th International Congress on 3D Dental Imaging in Las Vegas, April 11th and 12th, hosted by ICAT and Henry Schein Dental. For more information, you can visit www.icat.com. For those of you who are not familiar with the International Congress on 3D Dental Imaging, the event is in its eighth year. It is a unique two-day experience of lectures and demonstrations of real 3D imaging applications in dentistry, and it offers 11 CE credits. You can get perspectives from knowledgeable industry experts and colleagues on real 3D imaging applications in dentistry during lectures and breakout sessions. At the end of our broadcast, I will be, re be revealing a discount code for $150 off of the 3D Congress on Dental Imaging in Las Vegas. So please stay tuned. Before we get started, we'd like to invite our viewers to use the question app in Google Hangout to ask any questions that you would like to be answered at the end of this session. We're hanging out today with Dr. Guttenberg, an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and director of the Washington Institute for Mouth, Face, and Jaw Surgery in Washington, D.C. He is a diplomate of the American Board of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, a fellow of the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons, and a fellow of the American College of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons, of which he is the past president. Dr. Guttenberg is a member of the teaching staff at the Washington Hospital Center and is the chairman of its Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Residency, Training, and Education Committee. He is a frequent lecturer throughout the United States and abroad. Dr. Guttenberg has written numerous scientific articles and book chapters which have been published in the dental and medical literature. If you'd like to read more about Dr. Gutten Guttenberg and his upcoming session, you can do so on the ICAT event page that will be popping up in your event chat window in a few minutes. Dr. Guttenberg, your session is called CBCT, a significant key to successful patient care. Can you tell us a bit about what attendees can expect at your session? Yes, thank you, Mally. Uh, I'm going to be speaking about the usefulness of Combium CT, specifically the ICAT, and how I use it both for uh, evaluation of patients for certain types of extractions, not all, but ones that, for example, are very close to vital structures. I'll be speaking about the uh, use of cone beam uh, prior to the placement of any dental implant, evaluation of trauma, sleep apnea, orthodontic surgery, and oral and maxillofacial pathology. Very good. Also, something new this year at the um, at the Congress is the ICAT is offering a brand new marketing practice enhancement breakout session. Um, I'm asking our viewers to remember to grab a pen and be ready to write down our unique code provided at the end of the Hangout to save $150 off of the registration of the Congress. Uh, now we're going to uh, ask some questions, move to this question and answer part of our Hangout. So please use the question app, as I asked before, to ask any questions that you have for Dr. Guttenberg. My first question is, what is it like to attend the Congress? And what are your thoughts after attending for previous years? What do attendees get out of the event that is beneficial? Well, I could tell you that each and every time I've gone to the Congress, I've, I've been amazed at how much I've learned. And you know, I, I think that that's pretty amazing, given the fact that I've been using cone beam for over a decade and I've done thousands and thousands of images and considered somebody who has some experience, but I, you know, I go to these and you learn from the other speakers. I uh, actually learn by speaking to the individuals who are attending and there are always new developments each year in the use of cone beam and I have found it to be a very, very worthwhile uh, event for myself, my own personal education. What do you think that dentists and others in the industry can learn from working with their peers like this? What are the benefits of, of listening to peers that have actually had experience with this machine? I think they find out that once you have uh, cone beam CT in your practice, you realize how much in the dark you are if you don't have it. Uh, practicing today without cone beam, I think, is, is becoming uh, fairly archaic uh, when you realize the benefit that you get to whether you're evaluating a, a tooth for a possible fracture or uh, evaluating a jaw to, to place a dental implant 
uh, if you're even if you're planning on taking out a wisdom tooth and you want to see its relationship to the inferior alveolar canal, you really can't get that information with 2D radiography anymore. You really do need to have something which is available, and that, of course, is three-dimensional cone beam imaging. What are some activities that a Congress attendee can expect, maybe some of your favorite activities that you've taken part in in the past? Well, I'll, uh, each, each time I go, I particularly learn uh, from some of the technicians, actually, who show better ways to use the machine, perhaps uh, a review of, of patient positioning in the machine, uh, hearing doctors of different specialties, whether they be uh, endodontist or orthodontist or general practitioners, and how they utilize the machine for the benefit of the patient. And so each person uh, has a little bit different knowledge and coming to the table with different education. And I find I benefit from that. And uh, with the recent um, interest in radiation dose, um, what do you think puts the ICAT flex above other imaging systems as relates to your field? Well, I think the flex is uh, an incredible advance in our field. I, I think for the most part, at least with ICAT, the radiation dose for patients has been relatively low. And then to lower it even further so that, uh, for example, you can get a 3D quick scan with less radiation than you can take a, a panoramic x-ray, I think it's a significant uh, advance and one which uh, is really very forward thinking. Uh, with the ICAT, you can flex, you can get more information than you can from other machines with uh, less radiation and it's a uh, uh, superior image quality. Um, if our viewers have any other questions, um, now's the time to post them in our question and answer app. We do have a question waiting. Um, one of our viewers is asking, can I get rid of my panoramic x-ray? You, you most certainly can. The uh, I know that I did. I had a panoramic machine while I, when I first had my, my first iCAT and I found it was totally unnecessary since the the iCAT can take a, uh, a very, very useful uh, panoramic image that, that rivals the quality of any, any regular panoramic unit. So you don't need both, just get an iCAT. Okay, thank you very much for your questions. Don't forget, if you're attending the event, to enter the raffle for a chance to win $50,000 off of an iCAT Flex. Doctors must be present to win. Um, thanks for uh, attending today, Dr. Guttenberg. We appreciate your time. We know that you're, you're in the midst of a raging snowstorm, and we appreciate your time and uh, your insights into the Congress today. Um, and here, for our, all of our viewers, here's the code that you've been waiting for in celebration of ICAT's 10th anniversary. You can use the code HANGOUT150, that's HANGOUT150, to receive $150 off the event. Um, visit the URL in the chat window to book your registration. Um, we're going to say goodbye for now, and we look forward to hanging out with you again soon. Thank you again, Dr. Guttenberg. You're quite welcome. Thank you, Charlie. Bye-bye.